Good night. So, I was just telling Afi that I made a video today. And I did not upload the video. I deleted the video. She asked me what it was about, and I said it was about women. That's why, and that's why I'm happy you didn't delete that video. And that's why she's happy I deleted the video. But I'm going to make it again. But no. this time with you. No, I, I don't really want to be a part of this video. Well, I'll make it very short and brief. Okay? Not yeah, I'll make it very short and brief. I'll make it quick. So, I was just talking about the fact that um, women um, tend to cause a lot of trouble. I don't want to be a part of this video anymore. Why? Come back in the video. I don't like this video anymore. Well, it's, it's a good thing. And I, let, let me finish. Can I finish? Mm. Women tend to cause a lot of problems. They do. They cause problems. Um, no, let me show you how much problems women can can cause. Okay. No, well, listen, listen. No, this hey, this is straight from the Bible. Mm. No, look at let's look at Eve. Eve was in the Garden of Eden. That's all. Eve was in perfection. Eve herself was, you know, perfectly made. Right, Adam perfectly made. Adam is the perfect man. You know, women always say they want a perfect man. You know what I'm saying? They want a good guy, you know, whatever, whatever. Adam was perfect. Perfect environment. No problems, no issues. All the food he can eat. No mosquitoes. No hot sun. Okay? And she was told, there is one thing that you can't do. Just one thing. And even in her perfection, the woman still chose to go and start talking to, you know, the bad boy, the serpent. She finds, she, when, I found, when I found the bad boy, started hanging out with him and started chit-chatting, started exchanging words. And uh, the bad boy told her a bunch of uh, stupid stuff and she believed him and uh, disobeyed God. And Adam, no, Adam, right? Here, there, you know, his wife came to him and... Telling him, you know, about, hey man, you know, no, 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 hey man, no, no, honey, oh my sweet, uh, hubby, eat the, eat the fruit, you know, it's okay, and he's like, Adam is like, man, you know, my wife is gorgeous, I mean, <laughs> that's all, he's probably thinking like, wow, <laughs> she turned on that woman charm on him, that's what happened, she turned on the woman charm, and Adam just completely lost his mind, <laughs> And disobeyed God. And it was when Adam disobeyed God, that's when, you know, all the trouble came in, came in because Adam is the one who was left in charge. So when he disobeyed, everything fell apart. And why? Why did Adam disobey God? Why, Afi? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> because of the woman. Do you guys know how many problems that women cause in history? How many stories are there? Tell me. Wait, don't let me, what? What? Women, women trouble? Yes, I want to tell you. In the Bible. Okay. The wisest man in the whole destest world destest. Everestest. Sam. I'm, I'm, Who was that? What, what do you mean? The wisest man that ever lived in the whole wide world. In the history of the world. Who was that? Jesus. Okay. We know that God is wise. Jesus Christ is God. Not Jesus. That's a, that's a foregone conclusion. He made everything. Who was the wisest man in the Bible? It was a king, right? You know, this is shocking. This is embarrassing. I can't, uh, no. I should pause the video right here. You're confused. You're confused? It's a law of Christ. You don't know who the wisest man in the Bible? It's a law of white people. Really, <laughs> Afia? <laughs> Afia, who was the wisest man in the Bible? Who was the strongest man? Oh, um, Samson. Right, you know the strongest man is? Who is the wisest man in the Bible? It was. This is bad. Yeah. Anyway, I'll address this at some other time, but I gotta make the point, which I'm talking about women. I'm, I'm, on, you know, I'm on the woman's case right now, so I'm not gonna mm. get onto Afi's case right now for not knowing the wisest man is in the Bible, which is King Solomon. Solomon? <laughs> I'm not laughing with you, Afi. 
But I keep remembering like a bunch of... I, I am not laughing. I knew it was King Solomon, but I keep forgetting his name because his last name is the, S number, the, the letter S at the beginning. Yeah, I, should, I should pause the video right here and not, and not upload this. But anyway, moving on. So the wisest man in the Bible, wisest man that ever lived, was basically taken down because of um, a woman. Or women, actually. Women, plural. Yeah, he had like 700... Right, the strongest man in the Bible, women, taken down by women. Okay. So what am I saying? Am I saying that women are bad? No, 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 no. I'm not saying women are bad. What I'm saying is that um, a woman has to be handled with a lot of um, care, a lot of um, handle with care. <laughs> okay. You know, um, a woman can be hazardous. Okay? A woman can be toxic. You got to handle with care. Or else, or else, we have this world. All the pain and suffering. <laughs> so, men, when men abandon their roles like what Adam did, when Solomon gave his strength to women, when Samson gave his strength to women, you have our chaos. Women are good when you know they're when they play their role. They're very good. All right. When um, you know when when we all know what our roles are and we stay in our roles and do what we ought to do, everything is fine. After um, Adam and Eve sinned, you know, and God and God cursed Adam and Eve. He said to the woman that thy desire shall be unto thy husband. And he shall rule over thee. Right? If a man does not take charge, you're going to have chaos. Yeah. God left man in charge. He has to take charge and do a good job at it. If he, if he ever, you know what I'm saying, gives up his role, then there's chaos. When, Adam, when God left Adam in charge, he, you know, he, he had a moment of weakness because Eve was perfect. Just perfectly beautiful. He just lost it. And... Chaos ensued. We all have roles to play, right? We all have, um, you know, our job to do, and we should know our roles. We should stay in our lane, just stay in our place, and do what we are to do. So, some women might hear this and think, okay, and I'm being a male chauvinist, and um, you know, I'm putting down women. No, not putting down women. I'm not elevating men. I'm just saying that, you know, as Apostle Paul said, that Adam was not deceived. But Eve being deceived was in transgression, right? And woman is a weaker vessel, right? And, you know, God made man to, to lead, to provide, to protect. And that's what we ought to do. And he made woman to be helpmates, to support, right? Because men do need that support. Right? It's not fun being a bachelor. It's no fun being a bachelor, Right? No fun. And you know when Adam was um when Adam was um you know naming the animals, he recognized immediately that you know that he did not have somebody, but all the animals had somebody and you know he wanted somebody and God said it was not good for man to be alone and he made man a help meet suitable for him. Not a destruction not so much because destruction and pain and suffering, but a help meet. So women, be a help meet to your husbands. Husbands. Lead, love, protect, provide for your wives. And that's it. That's you all I was it, saying. Do you realize there's going to be a lot of like, hate comments by women after this? Yeah, but what have I said that's um, wrong? Or what have I said that God is not saying? I, I know, I know. I just said, I, 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 you realize that, right? So if I'm saying what God says, I don't care. I, I, I know what I'm just saying. Mm hmm Jesus Christ is the Lord. Have a good night.